This is definitely a very short video, but I found this diagram, this uh, Creative Commons free license diagram, and it just looked too good. So whoever prepared this, OpenStax College, thank you very much. It's fantastic. There's a lot of specific things about muscle fibers and their actual arrangement and like specialized endoplasmic reticulum. And then you have the fact that um, it's one of the exceptions to the cell theory because there's multiple nuclei that are found throughout this entire thing. But this is a really beautiful illustration that has a lot of nice little labels. So I've just annotated it a little bit more so you can kind of see how everything is going. So. Your muscles are made up of bundles of these muscle fibers and each muscle fiber is made up of a bunch of myofibrils and then when you zoom in and look at the actual myo myofibril, that's when you're talking about the bands that you can see in these electron micrographs. So in some of the other videos or other stuff that you've looked at or diagrams in your textbook or online when you're looking at um, Z lines and light bands and dark bands, you'll see what this stuff actually looks like under the microscope. And you need to be able to recognize images like that as well too. So just a few little annotations. So we're talking about a muscle fiber being a bundle of these muscle cells. You've got mitochondria, that are actually in here to provide ATP for contractions. You knew that already. You need energy in order to move your muscles. There's a word here called sarcolemma. Sarcolemma is like one plasma membrane that results from fusing a bunch of muscle cells together. So it's like one continuous membrane. That's what we're trying to uh, talk about here. So we already mentioned that there are many nuclei and that's, that makes this kind of one of the exceptions. It's like the individual cells have fused together to create one continuous kind of membrane, but the nuclei are still left over in there. And so that's one of the special features of muscle fibers. Um, these muscle fibers are actually striped. And the fancy word for striped is striated. And compare this with the other types of muscle, like smooth muscle that you have in your digestive system that helps with peristalsis. And then your heart muscle, which is also called cardiac muscle, that does not have stripes. So this type of muscle we call striated muscle. I talked about the sarcoplasmic reticulum being a specialized type of endoplasmic reticulum. And why is it special? It wraps around every one of these myofibrils and it stores calcium and it's going to send the signals and release this calcium in order to allow for muscle contraction to start. The exact role of calcium you'll see in one of the other videos, hopefully you've Watch that already where you can understand calcium's role in binding to uh, troponin and then tropomyosin. Um, troponin binding to troponin, then it causes troponin to activate tropomyosin. That moves out of the way so that myosin heads can actually bind onto actin. Um, that's not going to make a lot of sense just listening to it. So make sure you watch the videos that show that. I think on YouTube there's tons of animations that people have made from textbook providers that show the action of actin and myosin. But anyways, this diagram was too tasty to leave on its own. So we threw it in there. Big thanks to OpenStax College, Creative Commons license, Wikimedia. Wikimedia? Oh yeah, Wikimedia. All right.